Hello everyone, in today's video, we will be solving these two numericals from the UPSC Physics Optional 2023 Paper 1. So these two numericals are from the gravitation part. So let's see the first part. In the first part, we have to calculate the gravitational self-energy of the Earth. We are given the mass and radius of the Earth. So let's start solving this. So we are having the mass and radius and we know that the gravitational self-energy of the solid sphere is given by 3 over 5 times the gravitation constant into the square of mass over the radius you can see the derivation from mechanics handouts so these are the mechanic handouts that are available you can buy it from the link given in the description box so now we have to put the values here our solid sphere is earth so gravitational constant is 6.67 into 10 raised to power minus 11 mass square is 6 into 10 raised to power 24 whole square over radius that is 6.4 into 10 raised to power 6 so after solving this we will get the value as 2.25 into 10 raised to power 32 joules so this is the solution for the first part let's move to the next part in the next part we have to calculate the escape velocity of a body of mass 10 kg from the surface of moon and we are given the relation between acceleration due to gravity for moon and earth and we are given the mass and radius of the moon so let's start it first we will see what is escape velocity so it's basically the minimum kinetic energy that is required to overcome the gravitational pull of the planet. Uh, here we are on the moon. Here the velocity is escape velocity. We just need to get out of the gravitational pull. So the small m will cancel out. So the escape velocity is only dependent upon the particulars of the planet, not on the body that we have to get out of the gravitational pull. So this is the escape velocity relation. So let's say this is equation number one and we know this acceleration due to gravity is gm per r square. So this is the second equation using two into one. So we will get ve square is equal to twice g of r. So this is the relation we are going to use here. So we are having this information. Now let's find the ratio for moon over earth. So this is twice g of moon radius of moon over twice g of earth over radius of earth. So this will cancel. This we know the g of moon is one sixth of g of earth. So we can write this ratio of g of moon over g of earth as one over six. So we can write this ratio as one over six. So the escape velocity square of moon over earth is one over six times radius of moon is 1.7 into 10 raised to power 6 and this radius of earth is 6.4 into 10 raised to power 6 so our ratio comes out to be as 0.21 so we can find the escape velocity for earth by using the formula root 2 gr so we know the g value for earth it's 10 and the radius of earth is 6.4 into 10 raised to power 6 so after solving this we will get around 11 kilometers per second this is the escape velocity for earth and we know the ratio of escape velocity for moon over earth so this is 0 0.21 so we just have to multiply this 0 0.21 with escape velocity that is 11 kilometer per second so this comes out to be equal to 2.31 kilometers per second so this is the escape velocity for moon if you have any doubts related to any of these numericals you can write me in the comment box and if you like this video please like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching this video